Thank you. Thank you for organizing uh, this event. Um, I'm happy to meet real people, real logicians. Um, I will speak about natural deduction for partial type theory, a strong, strange topic. Kodelov, uh, by uh, various people, uh, we essentially follow uh, uh, the um, type theory as a formulation of higher order logic, while only few authors uh, um, um, embedded partial functions into that system. Uh, Pavel Tichy from Brno, who uh, work in New Zealand, uh, admitted all partial functions. Uh, it is a, a rare contribution to the topic and developed some essential part of, uh, of this talk uh, many years ago. So he, he was a, a sort of a pioneer in that topic. And uh, I will discuss uh, or uh, comment his natural deduction system as adjusted by us because we mixed his early natural deduction system with his ideas from 1988. So, uh, let me uh, say something um, very important by partial functions because uh, they are needed uh, and they are discussed and there are even arguments about uh, partial functions such as this. The structure of this uh, argument is rather simple, but what is here present is that uh, this is considered a computation, uh, computing or um, arriving at some partial numeric function which has some properties. So uh, there, there are two levels, computations and functions as graphs. And our uh, logical system, TD star, uh, is capable to distinguish between the two. And now we are asking how natural deduction for that system uh, works and uh, which one is appropriate. So in general, uh, there is a, a study of uh, non-denoting terms and even uh, other phenomena where partiality occur. And here is a small list of uh, uh, people contributing uh, uh, to that uh, area, even people from uh, free logic uh, discussed it, uh, of course. Um, there is a uh, regular uh, uh, recurring attempt to model partiality via three valued or even four valued logic. This is, for instance, the contribution of Muskens and so on and so on. Okay, only to be sure about the terminology, by a function, I always mean a graph uh, mapping elements of domain to codomains, while if all members of domain are mapped uh, to um, uh, members of uh, a codomain, then we speak uh, about total functions. So partial functions uh, map not all, but some of uh, those uh, members of codomain, uh, sorry, to, of domain to codomain. So partial functions are uh, undefined uh, for at least uh, some argument, which I uh, denote by uh, using the underscore character, which is of further use uh, in the notation. But anyway, it's uh, uh, really visible. So let uh, briefly some uh, um, sketchy um, um, description of the logic TT star, or perhaps its logical part without uh, deduction. Uh, direction system. So, uh, as mentioned above, we modify uh, Tichy's uh, uh, contributions. Uh, the important idea is uh, its relation to the analysis of meanings, which is Fregan uh, in spirit. Uh, so, meaning is explicated by some, something called construction by Tichy, and uh, that meaning determines denotatum of an expression. So, it's um, from some viewpoint, it's very natural, uh, but uh, such an approach is not typical for model theoretic uh, uh, approach in logic because the, the people usually skip the level of meaning. Uh, so constructions are algorithmic computations, not necessarily effective ones. They are acyclic and they usually construct objects. I will use uh, the familiar notation, uh, which is usually read as the term C denotes in the model and so on. I will uh, um, read it briefly as C constructs some object, of course. Uh, it's a, a useful way how to uh, speak directly. Now, an important thing is that not only we have uh, partial functions as mappings in our system, but even 
partial construction, but the term is not used. We use the term improper construction. So improper constructions uh, construct nothing at all. For example, because uh, the some function is not defined uh, for the argument. This is the example which uh, occurs here. Our language is essentially lambda language. Uh, we have variables, constant applications, abstractions, and the two evaluation terms are written here. They are uh, some sort uh, of modification of uh, Tiki's contributions, but I happily uh, uh, rediscovered what Farmer used uh, in his uh, papers, two papers about evaluation terms. So the notation is similar, but the mimic is uh, a little bit different. Uh, if you see uh, that uh, so-called acquisition of C, this is a term which uh, denotes a construction. So this is a construction which rigidly uh, constructs C. So it is a sort of a trivial construction of that C. Uh, the other term uh, of construction is even more difficult uh, to uh, digest because uh, assume that C constructs some construction D. The whole term called uh, immersion construct the, uh, the object constructed by D. But there are many uh, uh, occasions uh, in which that fails. But uh, I must say something uh, uh, not uh, directly related to that. Namely, we have types, we have function types, we have uh, frames, we have models. Uh, this is not uh, interesting for our talk, uh, only uh, to say that uh, uh, the semantics of the terms can be uh, rig uh, rigorously described, which also means that we can uh, characterize uh, um, exactly uh, the behavior of constructions. So two types of constructions are the V improper, for instance, if C constructs a function which is not defined for the argument constructed by uh, uh, the construction C1 to Cn. And uh, there are more reasons why that immersion is not con constructing uh, objects, an object. So the system extends some uh, well-known systems uh, of, uh, known from lambda calculus. There are some complications with uh, um, freedom of variables and uh, substitution, of course, but this is not so much uh, interesting for us. So let me say something about our modification of uh, Tiki's early natural deduction system, which attempts to uh, capture behavior of construction inter alia. But uh, uh, before, we will do it, uh, we will describe the rules. I will describe the, uh, some main features of the systems. We have derivation rules, which are made from sequence. And now the strange thing, these uh, sequence are made from matches. Matches can be understood as labeled uh, formulas, but uh, it is a very uh, rough uh, uh, similarity here. So these are congruent statements saying that some construction construct the same object as some another construction. Those constructions on the right hand side of the congruence mark um, are uh, rather simple. And in some ca special case, some, uh, some match says that some construction is V improper. This is this case. I will use this uh, universal uh, general notation uh, for all matches. Uh, so le uh, let me comment uh, what is hidden in such an approach. In fact, we enjoy Frege's idea of two dimensional inference discussed even from, uh, by many other uh, writers, namely that uh, inference proceeds on logical truth, not on hypothesis. And the logical truth is made from a uh, construction or match by listing all its assumptions uh, in antecedent. I should say that antecedent of each segment is not multi-set, not list, it's simply a set of matches. And still uh, the system uh, uh, behaves nicely. Now, matches are uh, strange uh, entities, of course, but uh, it should be noted that uh, uh, they somehow reveal semantics of uh, constructions because they sometimes indirectly, sometimes directly, they uh, pick out the object constructed by, by the uh, left-hand side of match. And 
this uh, has double role. For instance, uh, C is implicitly typed uh, or indirectly typed. Uh, so uh, we don't have types uh, on the right -hand side of uh, the double lot, but still the typing is present. Uh, something which is also important is that uh, labeling uh, uh, improves, uh, uh, increases uh, deduction power, which is already not known from uh, Tableau method. And now a very simple point with, uh, with uh, big influence. Each match is by its definition uh, definitely satisfied or counter satisfied. So there are no uh, non derotic matches. If you rephrase uh, matches as uh, constructions, they are construction of truth values, but they are never uh, in improper constructions. Now, why it's Im important? It's important because uh, uh, frequently mentioned criticism uh, of uh, partial logic by Blaney, who uh, criticized what, uh, what is known uh, also as uh, weak linear logic. But, uh, but the proper feature is uh, strictness of uh, logical operators. So if we have uh, a non-denotic formula, then because of strictness of this uh, operator uh, star, it can be conjunction, disjunction, whatever, the whole is also non-denotic. Now, it uh, makes uh, partial logic to violate uh, several natural uh, conditions we, uh, we put uh, on uh, uh, explanation or explication of logical consequence. For instance, here is an example. If phi is non denoting then the two uh, congruent statements have distinct uh, truth value, despite that in classical logic, they should share their true truth value. Let's look on another example, namely the condition A. Uh, I've got some background in philosophy of language and it's quite natural uh, for me to take uh, the uh, famous Gepi sentence, the King of Francis Bold, which entails its strengthened version, it's true that the King of Francis Bold. But if you make conversion, then uh, the strengthened version uh, of that original sentence, namely the negation of that the strengthened version, doesn't entail uh, the negation of the sentence that think of Francis Ball, because this sentence is only one of the reasons why the strength, negated strengthened uh, uh, sentence is true. So Blaney is right. What to do? In, I know at least three approaches uh, how to escape uh, such criticism. One goes back to Pliny and uh, was uh, endorsed even by uh, Blady, uh, Buskens, and uh, most probably by uh, other authors. I'm not investigated it uh, in uh, entirety. Uh, you use uh, some, say, strong implication, uh, those strong operators of uh, strong Pliny logic. Uh, the other possibility is to remove uh, from the system those partial functions which, uh, uh, which uh, makes you uh, uh, attacked by, by the criticism. This is a farmer's strategy and his nice um, type theory uh, accepts only some partial functions. Now, Kihi, I, I've noted that, uh, noticed that Kihi's uh, is free uh, of, of, of the criticism, but still it, uh, he uh, enjoys all uh, partial functions, but it is because of matches, because it never happens that a sim single construction flanks uh, the metalogical uh, operators of implication or uh, logical consequence, only matches do. And this is the reason why, why the um, completeness proof for uh, that logic is possible. It is something uh, I can discuss uh, later on, but uh, not uh, within our, uh, my time uh, in this talk because I'm short of time. So there are many rules of that system. There are structural rules which uh, can be sorted uh, into uh, two groups, subgroups. Uh, 
few, uh, three few, uh, first three rules are quite familiar uh, uh, to your, uh, to your R. There's a weakening rule, there's a start room or axiom rule, and there is a natural deduction version of cut, which can be called the unitary cut rule. Uh, the other structural rule take uh, into account uh, some general features of matches, namely in the case of the, uh, the trivial match rule, uh, that if you have a constant or variable, it is uh, always uh, proper. So it, uh, these uh, two um, facts can be uh, reformulated uh, as uh, axioms of Hilbert's uh, style uh, axiomatization. I will skip uh, the other uh, rules, st structural rules, and uh, let me say something about so-called construction rules. Here we have uh, uh, ori original Tichy's rules, uh, which uh, uh, describe behavior of uh, application and abstracts. Uh, for instance, uh, of beta conversion, there is uh, there can be there are many things which can be uh, said about a beta conversion rule. But uh, the most important thing is that the classical formulation fails in partial type logic uh, unless you uh, conditionalize uh, the rule by uh, stating that in our example, each D is V, impro uh, v proper. This is what uh, these matches do. The very same condition is uh, involved in even in beta contraction rule. I will uh, skip even the other rules, expressing, for instance, extensionality of functions. Uh, now let me focus and uh, on uh, so-called incentional incentation rules, which uh, again express something which is already known from our description of constructions from this semantic uh, um, behavior, so to speak. Each lambda abstract is proper. This is what uh, a match of this sort says. And so this assumption is uh, um, redundant. Uh, something similar is uh, involved in interval uh, um, uh, expressing instantiation of applications. Namely, if you have an application which is proper, then it entails that each its component is proper. So again, uh, this is uh, redundant in entailing M. Now, uh, Kuchinka proposed rules for our versions of uh, uh, his late contribution to his system, uh, which are listed here. But uh, maybe I may skip it. But uh, what is important to say is that we have such rules uh, describing uh, the intuitive behavior, which was uh, um, put in uh, rigorous terms via the semantics. And uh, it was then once we realized all the features, we uh, could uh, uh, propose the rules. So there are introductory rules, elimination rules, and instantiation rules. Now, uh, I will go further. We have also operational rules for negation, implication, and uh, identity, and even for quantifiers. But uh, because of partiality, we have instantiation rules, and therefore uh, the correspondence between introduction rules and elimination rule is lost. That's obvious. Uh, now, as regards the cleaning character or strictness of uh, truthful functional operators, uh, we know that uh, uh, that strictness feature uh, is producing uh, something unpleasant, but. Surprisingly, the whole system uses uh, classical truth functions. So we must dis distinguish uh, operators which behave in some way, and those functions captured or uh, constructed by those operators. And these functions are classical, uh, which means you can find them in the very beginning of your uh, of uh, introductory textbooks, and it has some result, namely that our system is capable of expressing every uh, such truth function. And even there is uh, some, some other consequence that you can model, uh, say, three valued logic uh, within the system because uh, it uh, concerns the applicability of the operators. So if you apply it 
those operators to always proper construction, so to speak, then you obtain classical logic uh, or you emulate classical logic within the system. Uh, if you uh, apply those uh, operators to possibly be in proper construction, then you obtain street value logic. Now, as regards uh, rules for quantum fires, there are uh, two groups because in partial logic, uh, those quantifiers are not interdefinable. I will speak about that uh, um, on Wednesday, so I will skip it. I, I skip even this part. So I'm heading uh, to conclusion, but I must uh, uh, show you how to derive uh, uh, some other rules, what uh, is especially missing in uh, his original paper is how to derive uh, rules where some empty matches occur. And Kuchinka developed a method that, as far as we know, in each uh, such uh, proof of a derived rule with empty matches, it's necessary to use ex falso uh, for Libet as the essential step. As regards the argument from the beginning of uh, my talk, it can be uh, both formalized in TT star and uh, it's uh, uh, validity uh, uh, as regards uh, the rules uh, stated above can be uh, uh, offered. Uh, so as, as I noted, essentially we use uh, some familiar uh, patterns such as uh, universal quantifier introduction or uh, modus ponens that is uh, implication elimination. So complete as proof uh, exists. We are now finishing the paper on it. Um, the, we have some problems with some uh, uh, de definition of uh, substitution, and I hope that the substitution which we were not uh, making uh, uh, a problem today <laughs> that uh, uh, is capable to um, to provide a basis for such completeness proof. So we don't have a, a finite. Uh, uh, decision as regards uh, the completeness proof, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, essential fragment that is nearly all of that uh, logic uh, is um, uh, sh already shown to be complete. So to conclude, I will only project uh, some main ideas of my talk and I'll be glad uh, if you have some comments or criticism of that approach. Thank you for your attention.